can't give you another snack. You want a blanket? Here. Want these? <coughs> oh, shit. The fucking camera's already going. Damn, man. Okay, I'm going to make this quick now. I've already been mentioning this to a few people. Now, if people want to show the rectal exams and shit and all that penis shit that that one guy was penis exams and even the breast exams and the uteral exams and all the medical operations and shit, it should be in a different category. It should be in a medical category on YouTube. YouTube medical. And you go right there and you get it and you watch it. It should not be mixed among you, a comedian, and me, uh, whatever the fuck I do on YouTube. It shouldn't be mixed together. It's like even comedians, all the comedians should be in the comedian box, so to speak. And the bloggers be in a blogger box. You are also doing, you're doing blogs. You're doing, um, what's that, non-profit work for people. You do a lot of different things that people don't see. All they see is you being an asshole on YouTube. Because that's your YouTube thing. You the asshole. Um, I'm going to get you your next name. I'm going to name you next, man. Because as soon as they fuck this name off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you your next name. Um, there's a place for everything. Now, when people were sending me all that sexually orientated stuff men kissing men and penis exams and stuff like that they was doing that for shock value and shock value only what I'm trying to say is that if these people if you want to go look for that stuff fine I don't want nobody sending me that stuff unless I ask for it you know what I mean you know and when people send it to you and you look through your stuff, it's shocked to see some man bent over and a finger up the ass and it says man, male uh, rectal examination. Or you see a penis on the screen and it says male penis examination. You shouldn't have to see that shit if you don't want to. If I want to look for it, fine. I'll type it in. I don't want nobody to send me that shit unless they're my fucking doctor. And when I see the name, I'm like, ooh, it's from the doctor. I got to check. But see, I'm one of those Americans that don't have health care. And that's another thing. So since we're splitting off from this and that, from censorship to rectal examinations, though, let me switch off to health care. We have armed forces. We have Army, Air Force, Marines, and they all got their doctors and stuff. Why come we don't have a medical corps? for the people of America. How come we don't have a core of dentists to fix my damn teeth because all the damn candy they told me to consume when I was a little kid. Candy's good. Candy's good. Go out and ask people for it on Halloween. Candy's good. Eat my sodas. Rot your teeth. Candy's good. Come on, man. I need some medical, baby. We talking about examinations and shit. Why don't we do something for the American people? Why don't our government start a medical corps so we can teach these kids at at least 16, 17? You know what? You want to do something for your future and get away from everything? Boom. Sign up for the medical. You have medical boot camp. I think I'm bullshitting you. They're closing hospitals in America. Let's get everybody that knows anything about medicine to teach as many people right now and keep these hospitals open no one should have to pay for anything if it has to keep you alive the whole purpose of any country should be to keep their people alive by all means necessary the United States of America needs a medical corps you got the Marines the Army the Air Force, NASA, the bailout plan, no health care for Americans because health care became an industry. Why is health care an industry when it actually should be a right? It's a necessity who, that should be given up freely by the government. I hate to have to say it, 
But if you're going to Tuskegee a bunch of motherfuckers in the 60s and 50s, then you need to go ahead and put forth a medical corps to keep Americans alive and not just the rich ones. Because what is a rich man going to do when it's just the rich and the military left? You think a soldier going to bow down to somebody with some fucking money when he knows you or him in the end? You think a soldier going to let his drop down for some money when money means nothing? Any soldier from any nation knows better than that. Any nation. So we need to fix America, period. At the root, people need health care. If we can send people off to die, we can send people off to heal people. Maybe first we have to stop these kids from being addicted to nothing. Fashion. Bullshit. Drama. Ooh, I want to have the next this. I want to do that. Let's listen to the next CD by this person. The Great Disconnect is completed. People are disconnected from family and all that is righteous and respectful upon every human being. I give a fuck about you sending some man a picture of somebody getting a finger up their ass. But please, put it in its right context. Some of this shit don't even deserve to be on YouTube. It can be on YouTube medical, which is separated from YouTube watch videos for the hell of it, and YouTube political, and YouTube this shit. We all jumbled in the same fucking box, and everybody want to be garnered by the same rules. You can't judge when everybody plays by different rules. I can watch one of your videos and say you're a fucking dickhead asshole son of a bitch motherfucking ball jerking motherfucker. And you can say hey fuck yeah you son of a bitch because I am. And the next person be like oh my god that black guy went off. Shut him fucking down. Flag 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 flag. And you can talk about somebody taking a thing up the ass for 15 minutes and that's where that's fucking comedy. And it is. It's some funny shit. But, if I got to get myself checked, I want a woman to check me. I don't know. When I was a little kid, I signed up to play football. And I had to have a total uh, physical and all this and that. And the doctor stuck his motherfucking finger in my ass. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why? But you know, at the time when the doctor had his finger up my ass, I didn't know what to fucking say. I'm like, oh my God. So when I left the room, I asked the nurse. I'm like, why during this examination would he stick his finger up my ass? And she looked at me right in my eyes as I had my Medi-Cal sticker in my hand getting ready to give it to her and said, are you gay? Time, I'm... 14 years old, 13 or 14, I don't know what the fuck she talking about. And I guess I am pretty fucking happy right now. About to play football, you damn right. I didn't say that to her, but I knew what she meant. Are you gay? And then at that point, I thought that man fucking took advantage of me. You goddamn right. As old as fuck I am, I'm telling you this shit. I don't want no man doctor sticking his finger up my ass. And if you got some self-conscious thing about the size of your penis, understand this. You are the only person that had to look at that penis. That's your penis. Your woman like it, else she wouldn't be with you. Period. You'd be a lonely motherfucker with no goddamn nothing. Jacking off a little bitty penis, if that's how life really was. Come on, man. Get real. And you've been too. Call me, motherfucker. You can't never get nothing right. Anyway, we got to talk about that. Uh, we can't let nobody know what we're going to do, so we, we can't do that yet. So, I'm ready. You've been too.